Antarctica, a winter wonderland, is more than what meets the eye. 225 million years ago during the Permian period, it was part of the supercontinent Pangaea. As time passed, it separated, leading to its present location at the South Pole. Due to its isolation, there have been changes to its condition. We asked Peter McAvicky to explain to us a few things about Antarctica. In the age of dinosaurs, we know that there were forests and, and animals living there. Um, and these animals included dinosaurs. So we're finding new kinds of dinosaurs from Antarctica. And these dinosaurs will inform us about dinosaur evolution, also how animals distribute themselves across the planet, and how they respond to changes in climate. Antarctica today is, is essentially an ice-bound continent. And uh, the origins of that started about 35 million years ago when um, Antarctica lost its separation with South America. And the ocean currents, the Great Southern Ocean form, basically having a cold water current isolating Antarctica from the rest of the continent. Right now, there's no commercial exploitation, no mining or fishing of Antarctica. But in theory, that could change and severely affect the, the unique ecosystem that is Antarctica. Who would have known that Antarctica was not always covered by ice? That it was once a tropical paradise where dinosaurs roamed its terrain.